Hi everyone, I am Bhavya Mishra and I am a teaching assistant of the course Introduction to the Solid State Physics and in this video I am going to discuss assignment number 8. So, I will start with the first problem that is which is states if there is a particle of mass m moving in a periodic potential v x is equals to v 0 cos g x and the wave function of the particle is given as psi x is equals to summation alpha equals to minus 1 to 1 c alpha e to the power i k plus alpha g x then what will be the dispersion relation or the equation of energy E. So, for this I will start with the Schrodinger equation that is S psi equals to E psi and if we substitute the expression of psi x and V x in this first equation S psi equals to E psi we get summation going from alpha is equals to minus 1 to plus 1 k plus alpha g to the power whole square divided by 2 m c alpha e to the power i k plus alpha g x plus v 0 by 2 summation going from min alpha equals to minus 1 to plus 1 c alpha e to the power i k plus alpha plus 1 g x plus e to the power ma i k plus alpha minus 1 g x is equals to summation alpha equals to minus 1 to plus 1 e c alpha e to the power i k plus alpha g x. Now, if we take the energy term at the left hand side, what will we get? we will get alpha equals to minus 1 to plus 1 k plus alpha g to the power whole square by 2 m minus e e to the power i k plus alpha g x plus v 0 by 2 summation again going from this to this c alpha e to the power i k plus alpha plus 1 g x plus e to the power i k plus alpha minus 1 g x is equals to 0. Now, we define another k vector k prime is equals to k plus beta x and integrate the entire equation k plus g x g alpha x e to the power minus i k plus beta g x plus v 0 by 2 alpha is equals to minus 1 to plus 1 c alpha this e to the power i k plus alpha plus 1 g x plus e to the power i k plus alpha minus 1 g x multiplied by e to the power minus i k plus beta g x is equals to 0. So, we will get non-zero terms from this equation we will get the non-zero terms only when when alpha this minus e this alpha beta plus v 0 by 2 summation again going from this c alpha delta alpha minus 1 comma beta plus v 0 by 2 summation going from minus 1 to 1 c alpha delta alpha plus 1 comma beta equals to 0 where beta can take 3 values minus 1, 0 and 1. Now, if we begin with 
beta equals to 0, we get k square by twice m, we get the first equation k square by twice m, this minus e c0 plus c1 v0 by 2 plus c minus 1 v0 by 2 is equals to 0. For beta is equals to 1, we will have k plus g to the whole square divided by twice m minus e c1 plus c0 v0 by 2 equals to 0 and for beta equals to minus 1 we will have k minus g to the whole square by twice m minus e c minus 1 plus c0 v0 by 2 is equals to 0. Now if you write down these three equations in the matrix form and this is given by this where the terms in the matrix are the components of of C0, C1 and C2 from last equation from equations for beta equals to 1 minus 1 and 0, we will get the equation of energy, the equation of energy which comes as E0 minus E, E1 minus E, E minus 1 minus E minus E1 minus E mod of Vg square minus E minus 1 minus E mod of Vg square equals to 0, where E0 equals to k square by twice m, E1 equals to k plus g square by twice m and E minus 1 is equals to k minus g to the whole square by twice m. So, with this we get the dispersion relation or we can say the equation of energy. Now, we move towards the second problem which states for the given equation of energy which is a cubic equation you need to plot the energy bands. So, we can solve this uh, equation by using any software like Mathematica or, or if you are doing by hand, so you can use any, pro any calculator also. So, what we need to do, take any k value, assume first value is k1, substitute this k value in the energy of equation ek1. And if you solve this equation, you get three values of energy E1, E bar, E1 bar, E2 bar and E3 bar. Again, if you take another value of energy like K2 and substitute in this, you get another three values. And E3 double bar. If we keep on repeating this till k n that n prime e2 n prime e3 n prime, we will get get three bands. Here the boundaries for k is going from to minus pi by a to plus pi by a. Okay. So, now if we plot the dispersion, this bands, it looks like it comes as this. On the x axis, we will have k, and the y axis, we will have e. So, the first one band comes as this. The second band comes as this and the third band comes as this. So, this is our first band, this is our second band and this is our third band. So, this is the problem number 2.
Now, the third problem states the lowest value of energy in the first band. So, in the first band, lowest value of energy is at k equals to 0. So, the energy of the first band, this at k equals to 0, is the lowest value of the first band. Similarly, the highest value of energy in the second band is also at k equals to 0. So, this at k equals to 0 gives us the highest value of the second band. The band gap between the first and the second band is this that is delta G 1 and it is given by the, the highest value of energy of this second band sorry it is the lowest value of the energy of the second band minus the highest value of energy of the first band. And uh, band gap between second and third is this that is delta G 2 and it is given by again the lowest value of the energy of, of the third band lowest value of energy at the third band minus highest value of energy of the second band. So, these are the band gaps. So, now after this we will move to the next problem and now I will solve the problem number 8. The problem number 8 states that in a simple square lattice at the kinetic energy of a free electron at the corner of the first zone is higher than that of the midpoint of, of the side of the first zone by a factor of f, the value of f is close to. So, for a square lattice, the first Brillat zone looks like sorry, just a minute. Just a minute. Okay, so the the kinetic energy of free at the corner of the first zone is this point, and at the midpoint is this. If we plot these two vectors. So, this is k and this is k prime and this is angle 45 degrees. So, this will be like the E of k prime divided by E of k is equals to root over 2 a to the whole square divided by a to the whole square which comes as 2. So, here f will be now, we will move towards the ninth problem which states that consider a two dimensional square lattice with the crystal potential V x y is equals to minus 4 u cos of 2 pi by a x cos of 2 pi by a y where u equals to greater than g, where u is greater than 0. Okay. So, what we need to do to solve this problem, we start with this vg e to the power i g x is equals to minus 4 u cos of 2 pi by a x cos of 2 pi by a y. Here g x equals to 2 pi by a and g y equals to 2 pi by a. Minus 4 u by 4. And if we write down the cos function as in the exponential form, we will have i g x x 
सी टू पावर माइनस आई जे एक्स एक्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय ए टू द पावर आई जी वाई वाई प्लस ए टू द पावर माइनस आई जी वाई वाई सो दिस गिव्स अस माइनस यू ए टू द पावर आई जी एक्स एक्स प्लस जी वाई वाई प्लस ए टू द पावर आई जी एक्स एक्स माइनस जी वाई वाई प्लस ए टू द पावर आई माइनस जी एक्स एक्स प्लस जी वाई वाई प्लस ए टू द पावर आई माइनस जी एक्स एक्स माइनस जी वाई वाई and if we compare these terms we will get only non zero terms are g11 g11 prime g1 prime 1 g1 prime 1 prime which comes as minus u and all other terms are zero terms are zero so the answer the correct answer is a where v g x equals to v g y equals to zero, and remaining sorry sorry v g v g one one equals to v g one prime one equals to v g one prime one equals to v g one prime prime equals to minus u. So with this, we'll end. I end this assignment number eight. Now we will discuss assignment number five. and we'll start with the problem number 3 in this third problem we they asked for the reciprocal lattice vectors of a simple okay the reciprocal lattice vector of a simple cube okay so the if b1 b2 and b3 of the reciprocal lattice vector of any crystal then these are given by b1 is given by 2 pi e2 cross a3 divided by a1 dot e2 cross a3 okay we were we are a1 a2 a1 a2 and a3 are the primitive vectors of the crystal lattice okay for the case of simple cube a1 Equals to a two is equals to a three is equals to a. So for this system, b one equals to b two, and the b three we will get these three if we substitute a one a two a three in this equation. Similarly, for uh, we can similarly write these equations for b two two pi okay a three cross a one. Divided by a one dot a two cross a three. Now, if we substitute a one, a two, a three in these three equation, we get b one, b two, b three is equals to 2 pi by a so the next problem is for the fcc lattice with the lattice constant a the appropriate primitive lattice vectors are in an fcc lattice if we plot it as here This x axis, this is y axis, and this is z axis. Okay. Now, if we keep this, this, so this is a one, this is a two, 
and this is a 3 vector. These a 1, a 2, a 3 are the primitive vectors of the FCC lattice. So, a 1 is equals to a, a by 2 x cap plus y cap, a 2 is equals to a by 2 sorry if I start with this ok a 2 is equals to y cap plus z cap and a 3 is equals to a by 2 z cap plus x cap. Now, if I the next problem here is the calculation of the premise uh, reciprocal lattice vectors for the FCC lattice and if I substitute these values of a 1, a 2 and a 3 in the expression of b 1 vector, b 2 vector and b 3 vectors, we get these 3 vectors. Now, I move towards the next problem and I will discuss the problem number 11. In the problem number 11, they define the function as s is equals to summation over i e to the power i k n r i vector and they say the BCC lattice structure can be considered as a cubic unit cell with basis atoms at 0, 0, 0 and a by 2, a by 2, a by 2, then what will be the value of this quantity? So, if the basis atoms are at 0, 0, 0 and a by 2, a by 2, a by 2, a by 2 then r x 1 is equals to r y 1 equals to r z 1 is equals to 0 and for the second basis atom r x 2 is equals to r y 2 is equals to r z 2 is equals to a by 2 and if I substitute these two in this first equation we get s is equals to e to the power i k dot 0 plus e to the power i k dot a by 2 plus a by 2 this is x cap this is y cap plus a by 2 z cap that is 1 plus e to the power i k bar a by 2 x cap plus y cap plus z cap and here these are mods and this. So, now the next problem is problem number 12 they say for this problem the quantity s which we earlier defined in the last problem is also known as the structure factor. And by using the loss condition, the quantity S determines the final intensity of the diffracted X rays. Then what will be the condition from the loss condition for what will be the condition for H, K and L, L so that we will get a maximum or the minimum intensity. So from the last problem we have S is equals to 1 plus I uh, one e to the power sorry 1 plus e to the power i k vector a by 2 x cap plus y cap plus z cap and from this condition we will have k vector is equals to g vector g h k l is equals to h b 1 plus h b 2 plus h b 3 vector for a cubic lattice for a simple cube cube b1 vector is equals to b2 vector equals to b3 vectors mod of is it mod is it and b1 vector is equals to 2 pi by a x cap b2 vector equals to 2 pi by a y cap and b3 vectors is equals to 2 pi by a z cap. Now if I substitute in this g h k l we will have 2 pi by a h x cap plus 2 pi by a 
के वाई कैप प्लस टू पाई बाई ए एल जेड कैप सो एस इज इक्व टू वन प्लस ई टू द पॉर आई टू पाई बाई ए एक्स कैप प्लस वाई कैप प्लस जेड कैप डॉट एच एक्स बार कैप प्लस के वाई कैप प्लस एल जेड कैप एंड हेयर इट कम्स ए बाई टू ई टू पॉर आई टू दस कम्स एस पाई बाई कैंसल दस एंड दस विल ई टू दॉर आई पाई ओके एच प्लस के प्लस एल एंड फ्रॉम दिस कंडीशन फ्रॉम दिस कंडीशन विल हैव एच प्लस के प्लस एल इफ दिस इज एन इवन नंबर देन एस इज नॉट इक्व टू जीरो एंड इफ एच प्लस के प्लस एल is an odd number then s is equals to 0 thank you